Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. We last left off here in the Hydra Marshes, getting ready to go to Gaia's Naval. We need to fly to get there, and we have no methodology to fly to get there. No, we have no method to fly there. Methodology. So, what I wanted to do today was talk to this little Biba here, this annoying little thing. I believe if you did the uh, save kid route way, way back in the game, you would have probably seen the Biba. I don't know if you have to fight it, but I know you definitely see them here. But since I skipped that all together to get Glenn, I have not seen this guy whatsoever, but he is fucking annoying. He's got a lot of lipstick on, two ugly eyes, and an umbrella, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of him, be right back. Two hit KO, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. I am Biba, really sorry. Forgive Biba. Okay, yeah, yeah, wingiped. So, we need to fly, obviously. He says to use it in a wide open space. So, we'll go ahead and... What the hell? Get out of here, god. That's not even comic relief, that's just annoying. Take our flute that we earned from slaughtering stuff. Let's go find ourselves a wide open space. I think it's up here further ahead. You can save your game if you want to. But I'm a daredevil. There's a Biba right there. I think the more Bebas you fight, now you get Ancient Fruit. Actually, so I may need one. Hello? It was just moving! Oh my god. You gotta be... Hello? Come here! Uh, I'm... Week is Mr. Puniverse. <laughs> okay, I'm strong. Like bowl. Be right back. So we go ahead and kill the first Biba's son, little Biba. Take ourselves a bush basher, which is a piece of shit. Do I have an ancient fruit or not? And if not, how do I get one? Hmm. Let's be try to fight. Let me see if I can see that Biba one more time. I think you have to fight him again to get the ancient fruit. Is there a way to... This must be it. Oh. Uh, okay, let me try to blow the flute here. Where is it? Here we go. What will happen? How come the dragon's smarter than the rest of my team? Like, we have two humans. Well, a human and a demi-human. Demi and the fucking dragon... Really? Thank you for that tip. What? Is he like hiding back here or something? Can I kill you? Or all right, no. Let's move on then. Ah! <sighs> what the hell? He just peeks his head out. Hey guys, this is the wrong fucking place. Later. <laughs> Goes back into his tree home. He's got like a TV in there. He just sits in there with an umbrella all day. That's his home apparently. This is definitely the wide open space we we're looking for. Arr, this be it. I just said that, Dragon. Shut the fuck up. So let's try the flute here. I don't know if I have ancient fruit or not to feed this little wingipede, but we'll find out. Oh god. Watch. Is there a fight here? Or... You gonna circle me? Like doing a mating ritual here or what? Here, eat a bush basher we just found. It's full of nutrients. Oh, okay. Why not? Let's go ahead and fight you instead. I try to feed you, and you bite the hand that feeds. Now I kill you with the fury of a thousand Zeuses. Watcha! Watcha! Fucking piece of shit. I try to feed him. I'm like friendly to him. It's like a petting zoo. Surge, feed the cute little wingipede. Here you go. Have some raisinets, and then all of a sudden, he attacks. No, oh, that was easy. That's what you get for. Ch what the hell? He put a virus on my computer. All right, whatever. I, I don't even know. But the Wingipede's dead now. Rest in peace, Wingipede. So we find ourselves another way to get over to Gaius Naval, since we killed the only way to get. <laughs> Link's sinking ahead as always. All 
Alright, cure myself a poison. No, seriously, what the fuck? Let me call this thing again. Alright, let's just fall through here. How about that? Oh! This is definitely a boss looking thing here. Oh, good thing we cracked a skull open. Never mind, no boss. Let's just go. I'm, I'm scratching my head. I don't even know what's going on right now. Here we go. Hey, you. I need to kill you one more time. I've already killed you and your sister. Wait, that doesn't make sense. It brings shame to be my family. What the f- Alright, bear back. I'm gonna have to kill it again. Okay, here we go. Here's the ancient fruit. Finally. There. I got it. There, we're ready to go now. Now, every time you want to use the wing of Pete to get somewhere to uh, the Gaze Naval, you have to get another ancient fruit by slaughtering another piece of this guy's family, whether it be his cousin, uncle, or third cousin. It doesn't really matter. As long as you kill a Biba or two. Get your hands dirty, you know? Get creative. Anyway. Um, over here? Would this be a good spot? I don't know. Let's see. No. Wait. He did say to find his other Biba brethren. I don't know if he said to kill him, but I'm going to. Eh, let me try to blow the flute first. Here! Hey! Wait a second. Hey! I think we're finally ready to go! After six minutes jacking around. Yay, to get his navel we go! Which dragon will fight today? Nobody knows. Oh, this music. Oh, it's so delightful. Alright, we're finally here at Gaius Naval. Hey, some more good music here. Unique music, too. Arr! You come on from Skyrim. And here we have one of my favorite characters in the game. She has just a shitload of HP and strength. Her name is Leah, and if you notice, she looks a lot like the chick, uh, the dinosaur girl, a Ayla? I don't remember her name, from Chrono Trigger. But I don't think there's any relation. By the way, where the fuck are we, bitch? Leah don't um, know him. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, it's a dragon! So what we need to do here, in order to call out the enemy, is fight a whole shitload of enemies, which I can do off screen, so that's actually kind of helpful. And Leah is yellow. And as you can see, without any power-ups at all, her strength is already as much as Fargo's, and her agility is much higher than Fargo's. So, let's go ahead and give her a little use here. And I do need to equip her, I'll be right back. So yeah, we have to fight a bunch of enemies in here, as far as I can recall. I will be doing that off-screen, of course. But, let's also get some treasures while we're in here, too. Yoink! What the hell? Oh god! As you can see, Leah's already starting to get some bonuses from fighting with me. Got some magic up. And hey, an Inferno for free, alright! So yeah, I think we need to kill, like, eight groups of enemies while we're here. Or something like that. And the green brooch is the one item you want to get here. The rest of these treasures are Denorda rights, which are, you know, pretty easy to find around here. So, can I climb up this fine? I can climb up this fine. A lot of fighting to do today. A lot of fighting to do. Thank God it's off the clock. Alright, I went ahead and finished the battles off the clock. So what you want to do is come back to the main area that you first arrived at. It's quiet now. Too quiet. And... A dinosaur has come to attack. <laughs> Did I say dinosaur? I meant fat chubby thing with a tail. Oh god. No, not the face! <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's fight the Tyrannosaur. 
He's got 1600 HP. He's red and eight. You can steal a power seal from him, which is actually really good. I should have brought in Fargo. Damn you, Draggy! You're too cute! Why did I not... Damn it! Anyway, well, whatever. Anything else? Oh, he's accompanied by this thing. Anyway, we'll kill that thing through using elements anyway. So go for the Tyranno. He doesn't really have any defense or anything. It's actually a fairly easy fight. So... Not much to worry about, really. Use uh, AoEs on him to help kill off the uh, Pterodactyl while you kill him at the same time. And Water Nate is your friend here, so Fargo actually really comes in handy. I was kind of stupid not to bring him. Fuck my life. Her new weapon's doing really nicely. Oh, come on! How do you miss a 92%? What are the odds of that? Not the tail. Uh... Yeah, whatever. A bunch of crap. So basically, Draggy's useless here. He's a red innate, which means he sucks. And he makes it to where I didn't bring Fargo. So I messed up. Yeah, whatever. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Um... Cough mix! Get him, Draggy! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, but he's so cute. Look at him. Uh oh, we're all red now. Uh oh. Oh man! Not the face. Oh, that was nothing really, actually. Wow. Feral cats. Oh! 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 Alright, we went ahead and killed him off with the Thunderstorm. I just skipped about one turn, really. No big deal. Oh! Now, come on! Game? Die, there we go. And he dies pretty quickly after all that AoE damage that was going around. Whew! We're not finished yet, though. Oh, that was a star, alright, cool. Oh, I don't need magic for her, I want strength for her. You understand, game? Like that, strength, thank you. Anyway, we're not finished yet, we still have something to do here. As you can tell from that roar. What dum datum? Leah, come back! Leah goes crouching off. Aha! The mighty green dragon. It looks like a load of slime. Oh, and its tail is kind of like a uh, fly... what's it called? Fly catcher? I don't know what those things are called. Oh, Venus flytrap, sorry. Okay. So, uh, if you want to bring Fogger, you can still green play from this guy as well. There's no going back now for me. Lunch? Oh, I'll give you lunch. A sword? He's got 3,700 HP. He's green, obviously. Ugly motherfucker. And let's go ahead and finish him off here. And by finish him off, I of course mean start the battle. No, don't wave your fingers at me. Menacingly. And he gets a free green field, it seems like. What the hell? That's lame. I'll have to take that off with a free fall. At least he's not red, which means Draggy will actually be fairly useful in this fight. Alright, nice damage there. And yellow is the opposite of green, so Leah should be quite useful here. Wow. Okay, now you're being annoying. Here, Tailspin. What? I thought that tail was part of her cat suit. How is that even a tail? A piece of fabric with a spring inside of it is not a fucking tail. What is dragon? Black? What does that mean? What? 
Oh, I guess this is like all he does the entire fight is turn the field green. Ah, no. There we go. Ah! Taste my pain! <laughs> what a weird fight. Like, what the hell? Makes no sense. So he does have Carnivore, so be careful with that, especially with Greenfield up. That might really, really hurt you. Especially characters like Leah that are yellow. But uh, that's it. He literally has Bad Breath, Greenfield, and Carnivore. And I think the occasional Toxic Breath. So I guess I'll go ahead and skip ahead. I like how he holds his hands up to his mouth like he's about to say excuse me. Like he burped. And it smells kind of like rotten eggs and salmon, and he just now realized it. And then he's like, wait, no, these are enemies. I don't want to have manners. Anyway, be right back. Good grief, so much HP. Anyway, ugh. Done deal. Another fight down. Another dragon dead. And another fight without Fargo that I'm an idiot. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll have one carry the two. Minus four. Two more dragons left. Hey, strength and magic, alright. My two favorite. And we get Genie for our troubles. I'm out.